Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockTarts.com. It is Thursday, January 16. You're tuned in to Don't Ignore This Chart. So today we're going to show you a little bit about the market summary. And as its name suggests, this is a great page that you can go to if you want one source to have an overview of what's happening in the financial markets at any given point during the day. You can find the market summary page on the free charts page or on the home page. I'm on the free charts page. And what you would do is you would scroll down a little bit and then navigate over to the right hand side where you would find other tools. And there at the top you see market summary. And I would encourage you to check out these other tools as well. So here we are on the intraday market summary and there's a drop down menu there that you can choose to change what you're seeing. You can have end of day if it's after the close and you don't want to see ETFs. You can have only ETFs or you can have a combined. And I'm just going to look at intraday because I'm interested in what's happening right now. And so you have nine different tables basically representing nine different groups. You have the major markets. Then you have the major stock indices. You have the Amex Select Sector SPDR, so you can see quickly what the nine sectors are doing. We can see financials are leading lower. Then you have the major industry group indices. We can see that biotechs are moving higher, but banks are moving lower. You can look at the international ETFs, U.S. bonds, and the place I want to stop is U.S. commodities. And these are U.S. commodity ETFs. And looking at this, we can see that there's some action in the commodity area today. And this would be Thursday. Of course, we can see natural gas is moving sharply higher. Heating oil is up. Sugar is up over a percent, as is coffee. And we're getting a little bit of strength in agriculture and also in livestock. And then finally, down below, you have currencies and you have some market breadth indicators. Now, keep in mind, if you want to see a chart for any of these, there's a link right there, the name. You can click on that name to see a link. And there's also icons on the left that provide links. So there's some place to look if you're looking for what's moving today. That concludes today's Don't Ignore This Chart. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.